All right, so another example here related to one-sided limits. And in this case, we're going to do part B. We're going to look at um, the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left. It's kind of hard to see my little minus sign there um, of the function g of x, where g of x is the absolute value of x plus 4. So um, two things again. I'm just going to sketch the graph. So just to remind you some algebra stuff, remember, uh, so x-axis, y-axis, remember absolute value of x just kind of looks like a nice little v. Um, if we replace the x with x plus 4, remember, that shifts the graph. And does it shift it up, down, left, or right, or it does something? Well, you can always start plotting points if you're not sure. It turns out it's going to shift it four units to the left. OK, so there's the absolute value of x plus 4. And again, that makes sense, right? If you plug negative 4 in, you're going to get 0 out. So that's how I used to always even remind myself, you know, you can always plot points. So plot points if you need to. OK, so we're looking at this bottom graph. And we're thinking, OK, what's the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left of our function, the absolute value of x plus 4? Well, again, if you want to think about it in terms of a graph, since we're doing negative 4 from the left, again, we're taking numbers a little bit smaller than negative 4. We're thinking if we plug those into our graph, into our function, rather, what happens to the y values on the graph? Well, again, as x gets closer and closer to negative 4, um, as my x values get closer and closer to negative 4, the y values on the graph, it looks to me like they're getting closer and closer to the y value of 0. And that would simply be our answer in this case. Um, and again, the same thing. Um, you can simply plug negative 4 in. So yeah, it's, it's coming from the left, but really you're just plugging in the number negative 4. So if you plug in the number negative 4, well, you would get negative 4 plus 4, which again, you would get the absolute value of 0, which is 0. So, you know, again, this is 1 to me. I could just plug in negative 4 and get 0 out, and boom, I'm done. Uh, but again, just to give you some intuition as to what's going on with the graph. It would actually be the same thing, right, if you looked at the limit as x approached negative 4 from the right of x plus 4. Because again, you would still plug in negative 4, and we would get 0. So if the question had originally asked, you know, what's the limit as x approaches negative 4? Well, in this case, since the left-hand limit, OK, coming from the left, equals what's called the right-hand limit, we're approaching negative 4 from the right, we would just simply say that that limit does equal 0.